Today's Bible study is titled Complete in Christ, Beware Deceit, Part 4. Colossians 2 verses 4 to 10 speaks to the simplicity of the completeness of the gospel believer. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 death, burial resurrection of Christ, according to the scripture. But it also addresses life thereafter as well, with a warning that the believer be not deceived and thereby cheated. As we noted in part 1, since Paul's instruction is aimed at preventing deception by the enticing words of deceivers, we must assume that this deception can actually happen to a believer. So the chief goal of the believer in this regard is to recognize and beware of the enemies and his minions' deceit. Fortunately, we have the blueprint for how the enemies' slash minions will attempt deceit, as we'll see in today's reading. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Colossians 2 verses 8 to 10. The summarized means by which the enemy will attempt to deceive the believer is through. Number 1. Philosophy. Number two, vain deceit. Number three, after the tradition of men. And number four, after the rudiments, rudimentary and elemental teachings and practices of the world. Let's dig into this a bit. All the above means have a central thing in common. Example, they are not after Christ. Belief and teaching in which the truth of Christ, rightly divided, is of preeminent importance. And it is to Christ and the revelation of him according to the mystery that we must look so that the means of deception are easily identified as they come. Why must it be after Christ, you might ask? Verse 9 answers by saying that in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Godhead, all dwell in Jesus Christ in a bodily form. Interesting that those saved by the gospel of grace are members of the body of Christ. And the result of the complete fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelling in Christ for those who are members of the body of Christ, particularly since he is the head of all principality and power, is that ye believers are complete in him. Your completeness in Christ means that there is nothing missing, nothing being weighted on other than your rested immovable belief in this and other truth. Believer, believe the truth that you are complete in Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.